What's up guys? This is what I do on Sunday mornings. This is exactly what I do and I'm fucking crazy right now because it's like 36 degrees outside and I'm bass fishing in a pond near my house. It's a quick update in the last video I put out. Um, it was Nick's 3.7 Mustang. Uh, he currently held the last naturally aspirated, by the way, any is naturally aspirated. If you guys see that, you don't know what it is. Naturally aspirated, all motor means no nitrous, no supercharger, no turbo. Just basically stock engine, unopened, all that stuff. The engine can be worked on, but not in this case. <clears throat> In this case, he's got full bolt-ons, four low long tube headers, off-road X-Pipe, 373s, MPT tune. It's listed down below, but um, he just cracked a 1210. I posted 1211. Uh, he ran one more time after that, and it was 1210 at 113, I believe. Um, this is amazing for the 3.7s. It really, really is, and it makes me regret selling mine so much. Um, I didn't build it right. I just didn't do it right, man. I put the wrong tires on there. First of all, they had drag radials on a stick car. He should have been slicks. But he's running full Hoosier slicks. Um, he's got skinnies on there. He's also got some weight reduction, lightweight radiator support. Um, take seats out, no seats in the back, no passenger seat. His driver's seat is a racing seat. Um, there's maybe a couple of things too. Besides that, you know, the drag wheels are obviously a big, big weight reduction. Um, where he runs at is the biggest thing though. Um, yes, it's a stick car. Yes, he can drive the shit out of it. Um, he's a really, really good driver. Uh, living up on the East Coast, um, he's at about 74 feet above sea level. And given the uh, air outside with this uh, moving in the winter here, uh, the density altitude, I believe when he ran, was about negative 800. Um, so basically, what that means is this car's making more power than anybody else with the same exact setup. Um, that can allow you to probably run at least a few tenths faster. <clears throat> oh, those biters, that weeds. But anyways, he can run. He can run quite a bit faster up there in that kind of air, as opposed to somebody else in the same setup in like a 1000 or 2000 DA. Like when I ran my car, it was always 1000 to 2000. Um, it's always usually in the middle of summer, and our tracks are already 680 feet above sea level, so it makes a big difference. So if you're wondering how he's able to pull off these times, it's not nitrous, it's not anything else, it's just really good air. Um, the DA can be underrated almost all times when you're when you're trying to set records or you're trying to see how fast your car can be. It can really throw you off, especially if you're in a state like Colorado that's 5,000 5, plus feet above sea level. Um, it takes a really big toll on how well these cars breathe, um, whether or not you know they're going to actually perform the way you think they're going to perform.